But we're going to keep talking about uh, economy of a certain uh, sort anyway with Diptika Laurent, who's joining me for the paper review. Um, the French economy minister is creating a, a new movement. This is on Facebook, isn't it? That's right. It's a movement to break down divisions, so to speak, between the left and right. It's called En Marche, or mm -hmm. Up and Running, and it was created by the French economy minister Emmanuel Macron uh, on Facebook, basically inviting a handful of people to attend a citizen meeting in Amiens, that's his birthplace. Now, it sounds fairly vague as, as a concept. Man Macron is up and running, that's what Le Parisien says on its front page. But for whom? Because you see that great picture there, uh, possibly photoshopped of Macron winking. The paper is wondering, who is he batting for? Is he? And that's, of course, an allusion to accusations that many, many of his policies are actually leaning much to, more to the right than the left. Now, Le Parisien is also questioning his real in intentions. Is it to support Hollande in presidential elections in 2017, or is it to rally supporters for his own possible presidential bid? Yeah, it's very confusing, though, isn't it? Because Macron does seem, anyway, to have pledged his uh, loyalty to François Hollande for those elections next year. I mean, it seems that uh, Le Pignon newspaper also shares that point of view. They're saying that François Hollande is warming up for 2017. Uh, that's what L'Opinion, the, the, the paper says. They believe that the French president is really trying everything he can to become, to become again, quote, the natural candidate despite the unfavorable polls and despite uh, political hardships. Now, I want to draw your attention to this cartoon here. You see this fortune teller telling Hollande that she has two pieces of information for him and which one he wants to hear first. And he says the good news. And she, to which she responds, I never said there was any good news. <laughs> so it really shows, um, it's a real, quite a, a, a strong statement on, on how Hollande is desperately looking for any good news at this point. Yeah, he's no doubt looking for any glimmer of good news, as you say, especially with the uh, controversial uh, Labour reform proposal, Siptika. Now, those reforms, as we know, have sparked widespread protests, nationwide protests, um, especially from the youth population and student movements. And Le Figaro says, despite defending these reforms to the end, Hollande um, and his government are now trying to calm tensions. But Le Figaro, the right-leaning paper, says that these are just old-school methods from the old-school left who, prepare, who prefer to create initiatives that are, quote, heavy and expensive for the taxpayer rather than actually creating jobs. So that, that same old argument we're seeing from Le Figuel. And what about the Socialist Party, then? How have they uh, reacted to this? A bit of scepticism, as you can imagine, Stuart. Now, uh, one French MP is quoted in Huffington Post as asking whether the movement is up and running, quote, forward or backwards, uh, right or left. Now, another MP says Macron is up and running all by himself. So for the Huffington Post, Macron is really entrenching himself further in a political world that already questions his motives. Now, yeah, and that, that's really creating a lot of wariness from the political world. There has been some support uh, for Macron as well, hasn't there? Tell us what they're saying. Now, of course, his supporters are hailing this movement, and uh, they're calling it a, quote, transpartisan movement that's neither left nor right. Now, supporters of, uh, of Macron are quoted in this article from Le Point as saying that they're actually attracted to the idea of being in, in sort of a movement that's outside the political world. They say they're convinced, and they're applauding this attempt to transcend the nitty-gritty of everyday politics breaking down ideological barriers, saying it brings a breath of fresh air to the, uh, French politics. Now, we're going to talk about uh, Liberation now, because they're talking about Nuit Debout. Now, that is uh, a citizen sit-in movement, if you like. Uh, several days this has been going on now, just up the road from where I live, in fact, at Place de la République. Me too. <laughs> um, in fact, it's uh, a week. It's been running for yeah. a week, La Nuit Debout. It's a heterogeneous movement full of debates and especially a lot of exasperation um, by the state of politics and political parties in France. Now, uh, the Liberation uh, has, has sort of dedicated a rather romantic tribute to this movement. They've titled their f uh, front page with this rather a romantic headline saying, the night belongs to them. <laughs> um, now, the left-leaning paper is really rejoicing at seeing what it calls um, the insurgents of the French Republic. They're saying this is a new generation that's emerging, one that's extremely pol political and one that's extremely um, connected. Now, one person interviewed in Libé says it's, it's a really peaceful movement where you see even sort of the emergence of what he calls neo-hippies. One man, for instance, drove up in his combi van and he had a sign board outside that said, beers at no fixed price, board games, love and revolution. Very sweet. Uh, the camps are actually dismantled, or a lot of them anyway, aren't they, every day? But the movement really has its own rules and its regulations as well, um, based on auto-management, really. 
You can read more about uh, this in Liberation. They've dedicated quite a, an interesting article to this. Now, uh, basically, their meetings are very democratic and very civilized. Now, if you're planning to attend one of their meetings, this guide might be useful. There are basically six ways that you can express your opinion during an <laughs> annual uh, meeting. Now, for instance, crossing your hands over your head means that you're opposed uh, to a decision, but clenching your fists while you're doing that means you're radically opposed to it, meaning uh, you want a counter proposal. So you can imagine how much quieter parliaments would be if they adopted the same system. It would be very quiet, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much. Are we allowed to go like that and say, we want to stay on air? We don't want to go off? We'd probably better go off and we <laughs> with the uh, press review here on France 24.